Um, well, as I said, we're very happy uh, to have international guests here at our Netzpolitische Abend, although this time uh, the uh, occasion is, um, well, quite the tragical one. We're very happy that uh, Munshi is here, uh, activist and uh, blogger from Bangladesh, uh, who now lives in Germany because uh, he had to flee Blang Bangladesh um, because he was, um, well, threatened with uh, death threats, I'd say, by... Well, I, I guess it's better you tell your story uh, and, and tell us something on the situation, free speech situation in Bangladesh. We're very happy that you are here and, uh, well, we'll give you a warm welcome. Thank you. Guten um, Abend, ich bin Munshi. Ich komme aus Bangladesh. Ich wohne in Durin. That's all in German for me. <laughs> Thank you. And um, I'm here today. Uh, thank you, Marcos, and thanks to Ingo. So, uh, blogger in Bangladesh. People in Bangladesh know that a blogger means atheist. A blogger is equal to atheist. Why did it happened in Bangladesh? Um, I, ha I have to tell you um, the story before 2013 and after 2013. Before 2013, people didn't know about bloggers in Bangladesh. It was a little community, like 50,000 people, uh, reading blogs or writing blogs like us, and we were the privileged uh, person in Bangladesh because n it n everybody doesn't have a laptop or mobile or a PC in Bangladesh. We were like a society of um, a, a, a close society, I, I should say, and we are organizing like uh, some. Uh, some uh, protests like um, if a blogger get arrested, we were in the street. If a uh, blogger punished, like we were in the street, uh, like that. And uh, my story began from 2010. I started a movement in my university. Um, there was a sculpture, uh, it, it called Lalon sculpture. Lalon is a Sufi, um, Sufi uh, lyricist and uh, he is uh, one of the most great singer in Bangladesh. He was. And uh, his sculpture was taken down by those Islamist uh, extremists. And I started to tell uh, the students of my university that we, we should come together and protest, uh, uh, protest, and after that, the main, uh, the main protesters called me, and I involved with the uh, main procession and everything, and I knew how to, how to uh, become a revolutionist or something like that. So, at 2009, I already started my blogging because I lost my poetry book. <laughs> someone stole it and uh, I tried to put it on the online thus I can't um, I thus I can't uh, s um, what I can say I, thus nobody can stole it from me and uh, after that I started some writings which helped some people like I started crowdfunding for a girl uh, for her surgery, and I started crowdfunding like uh, for the flood in Bangladesh, uh, the flood affected people. Then I did many um, protests in in the streets, like Bangladesh put, uh, cricket team shouldn't go to Pakistan because uh, the Sri Lanka team was attacked in Pakistan, like these kind of things. And in 2013. Um, one of the um, traitors of Bangladesh, uh, he, is, um, he killed uh, many people uh, in Bangladesh and uh, there are a group of people in Bangladesh, they did some, uh, they're actually war criminals and 
They killed three million people of Bangladesh in 1971 when we got the independence. But after we got the independence, um, after four years of our independence, our great national leader, Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Rahman, was killed, and those people got the power. You can imagine it if the Nazis got power in Germany. So it was like that, and uh, we couldn't do anything about it. So we demanded the justice for those three million people, and in Bangladesh, death penalty is still available there, it still exists there. So we demanded for their highest punishment. So I opened a Facebook event which, um, uh, which was um, 60 to 70 people, people came in Shabak Square and after that um, I told them to block the road because we were really angry because he was a, the people, they got life sentence. And it was not enough because after one year there was election and he would get free from the jail. So that's why we were really angry. And after that, people came from everywhere in the country, everywhere in the city. And 471 place in my country, there were protests gathering, and 26 countries in the world uh, where Bangladeshis are living, they were communicating with us, they protested even in Germany also, in the universities, uh, the people. So we were really the hero of that time. For 17 days, every newspaper, every TV channel, uh, everything, uh, you can, uh, change the channel, but you can change this face from there. So we're, we were everywhere. And uh, after that, those Islamist people, uh, after, uh, after the killing of Bangamundu, they became the um, Islamist leader in Bangladesh. And they said that we are atheist and we don't support Islam, that's why we started the movement to ban Islam in Bangladesh. But what we said, what was our demand was we wanted to ban the religious political parties in Bangladesh. And we wanted to separate the religion from the state. Religion and state should be um, separated. That's what we demanded, actually. And uh, they killed one of my friend in um, 14th February 2013. His name was Thabo Baba, and uh, his blogging name is Thabo Baba, and um, his name is uh, Ahmed Jajib Hadar Shobhan. And after that, they demanded our death also. They protested in the streets. They gathered in millions. Uh, madrasa, I, I, if you know madrasa, these are Islamist school. So madrasa people came out in the street and they uh, were, um, um, they bring our pictures in the hands and uh, they said these people should be killed. These people are the, um, these people doesn't want Islam in Bangladesh. So there were millions at our side before, but after that, Bangladesh had 93% majority uh, Muslim country in Bangladesh, so people got scared. And people said that, yes, these people are atheists. Yes, I am atheist, but that doesn't concern with the justice of those war criminals. So, um, the government tried to balance the scale. The, the government detained four of our fellows, four of the our fellow bloggers, and one of the blogger, um, I don't blame him, uh, he told the civil police uh, that I am the creator of one of the um, atheist page, Facebook page. And then uh, police tried to convince me uh, every time I post a 
a status on Facebook. Uh, they called me and they told me that you shouldn't do that. You have to delete it. And they told me that you'll also be get um, detained. You'll also be jailed for what you did in the past. I was um, kind of shocked, but that time I was strong. I was really strong because uh, one of my friend was uh, one of my friend was killed, and I, I had to do what we should do. So after that, we tried to go outside of the um, uh, outside of our. The uh, Dhaka was the uh, capital of Bangladesh, so we wanted to go outside of Dhaka and do some more peer things. But government didn't want that, and they beat us in the street. I still have some pain in my leg. Uh, the police uh, beat us two times in the street. And in the meantime, uh, the spokesperson of our movement, he got some links with other people. He was really uh, ambitious, and he wanted to get into the power. And some army person and some officials, they contacted him, and then they told him that uh, we'll give you power, uh, you'll be in the power, we'll uh, bring down the government, those things. Uh, and when I heard those things, and I, I was one of the meeting, and I decided not to, I, I, I don't want to be, um, be here because I don't want to. Um, I don't. Uh, people loved us, and people trusted us, so I didn't want to betray those people. So I was a bit worried because though there were army personnel, and they knew that I know those things they are cooking to get in the power. So <laughs> I was a little bit tricky, and I was um, detaching myself from the, um, from the uh, movement a little bit. And after that, last year, 2015, Obisit Roy was killed. He's one of the blogger, our fellow blogger. And uh, after that, after one month, another blogger was killed. After two months, another blogger was killed. And every time, those religious fanatics told, yes, we killed them. They told in Twitter that, yes, Ansarullah Bangla team and associated with Al-Qaeda, uh, Indian something like that, and they told every time that, we, yes, we killed them. And I left my job after they killed the third person, the third blogger. We were really close. And I detained myself in my home. After that, Nilay Neil was killed, one of my friend, and he was killed they entered his house and they killed him by machete. And every time a blogger was killed, he was a, every blogger was in the street, but this time they went into his house. And I, I thought it's not safe. If I detain myself in, in my house also, it's not safe uh, in my house also. And um, I went outside and I didn't know that if I can come back today, uh, I didn't know anything that, that maybe I'll get killed today. I don't know. So I just mailed some organizations, and thanks to Heinrich Bull, they got me here. And I'm here. Germany is a nice country. I like the people. And. <laughs> I don't know. Bangladesh is a really nice country. It's all green there. But some people are always bad in some country, even in Germany maybe, even in Bangladesh. So I might not get targeted kill here. But yeah, this is the life I'm 
going on. So thank you, everyone. My English is not that much good. <laughs> Do you have any question? Thank you. Well, thank you for sharing your story with us. I guess there's a lot of questions, but I could also imagine well <laughs> that it's quite hard to ask them or yeah. how to how to put them. But is there any feedback questions? Yeah, then the back. How much of the repression against bloggers or political activists is coming from the religion and how much is uh, based on the political or hierarchical system? I've been in India many times, never mm -hmm. in Bangladesh, but I know it's very uh, straight f from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, Islamists always um, those fundamentalists always want their things and uh, the politicians they always use them to get their things by using them so that's uh, th there is a interrelation but their path may be uh, different but there is interrelation within the uh, between the polit politicians and those islamist by gods Okay, there would be room for one or two more comments, questions over there. When you're talking about blogging, mm -hmm. on an average uh, one month, can you talk a little bit about the content? Uh, is, it all pol is it all atheist content? Is it just about entertainment? I know that so many, what, seven billion dollars in exports of textile manufacturing or something ridiculous. Bangladesh is now like a giant manufacturing center. Mm -hmm. Do bloggers also play a role in transparency as they do in other places? Or is the role in which your community of bloggers more, athe more, yeah. more examining the fault lines between mm -hmm. religion and society Obviously. Than, than capitalism and society? Obviously, uh, because um, most of the uh, media uh, are uh, run by those thieves who stole money from the people. And uh, you know the government. Government plays the same role at every country. So government, uh, blog is the only thing. Blog was and now is only thing that people can say everything in, uh, uh, against anybody. So it played a huge role. What do you think? Why bloggers led the movement in 2013? In 2013, in Shabag, uh, the students uh, should uh, lead the movement, right? But bloggers led them. Led them. Why? Because blogger had that much of integrity in Bangladesh. That's why. Thank you for your important question. OK. Anybody? Okay. Well, you might be around for a little while so that people can up come up to you at the yeah. bar with the beer. And, and uh, well, maybe it's easier to talk in person then. Yeah. Munchi, uh, thanks for sharing your story with us again. And uh, it's great to have you here. Thank you. Thanks a lot.